combustibles analyzer by forensic detectives with a telescopic probe. You could pop that into a tank, into a silo, or a confined space, take your measurement, it gets drawn into the analyzer, and it presents you with the percent LEL. It has a large color screen, large buttons, belt clip, large battery, alarms are adjustable, and a robust unit. You drop it, it keeps going and going and going. Folks, check it out. It comes with a niche traceable source, calibration certificate here in Los Angeles, a color manual screen, so you and your employees can read it easy and a cable charger and case all inclusively ready to go the package is perfect just what you need 30 day money back guarantee one year warranty have a great day folks let's get to the unboxing of our explosive combustibles analyzer folks it comes in a very nice aluminum case as you could see and the probe comes in that little box right there so let's go forward just unclip you will see your oh, look at that free sticker very nice thank you dr Coz. Some friendly reminders, please read that. You get your calibration certificate, very important. Date and signature, so you know exactly what we did when we calibrated. You get your English color manual, step-by-step step in how to use this beautiful analyzer. Look guys, if you forget this, it is on our website PDF version, not a problem. Now, let's get straight to the analyzer. I'm gonna immediately just turn that on. There you go, let's pop that like that right there. And as that is counting down, it goes through some testing and self-analysis and everything else. As that's counting down from 60 to zero, we're gonna go through the features. Okay, folks, check it out. Nice ABS grip. You have your LED alarms on the side there. You have your belt clip. If you want that, that's fine. If you don't, there's a screw in there. You could take that off and you could mount it any way you want. Sometimes we even put magnets there. Not a problem at all. Okay, now check it out folks, large screen, power button as you saw was in the middle, there in that little hole is your siren, your buzzer, okay, inlet barb is right there, so that's, that's sucking air, it's going in, it's going in the analyzer and it's spitting it out at the bottom there, that's the exhaust, that's the exhaust, okay folks, that's the way it works, and inside here you have your extra tubing, your USB charger cable and your USB adapter, let's pop all that stuff on the side okay folks now just to make it easy i'm going to get our detective stand and just leave it right there so you could see what's going on here now let's quickly have a look at the probe the probe this is our extendable four foot telescopic probe folks that extends out okay as that extends the tube gets sucked in okay folks now you see that that end simply pops on to that end and you have your Probe connected. Pretty simple, okay, folks? It's barbed. There's no funky proprietary connections or anything crazy. It's quite easy. It's just a barb. Okay, I've worked with analyzers for so many years and I hated those nuts and bolts and swage locks. Not necessary, folks. We're keeping things easy and universal, okay? That's the way we do it here. We love it. Oh, okay, so let's have a quick look. Now, on top here is your port. I didn't mention that, but that is your USB port, okay? That, that plugs off. You could do it right there. There you see it, and that comes on. Now, you saw what happened there, folks. The backlight just turned off. Now, that's adjustable. You don't have to have it turn off, but we do it to save power, okay? Just touch it again, and it comes on. Now, okay, let's quickly go through the menu screens, okay? And the options here. Just press the middle, and you go into all your menu items okay let's zoom in a little bit here so you could see it carefully okay you have your settings and you have a few different things for example the backlight if you don't want that to turn off just oopsie oopsie let's go back settings backlight if you don't want that to turn off just go down keep bright that will always stay on and bang it's set Go back to the main menu. You could change your alarm settings depending on where you want the alarms to set. That can be changed. So 20 is the 20% LEL is the low alarm, high alarm. You just go to edit and you scroll through and you could change. Sure, save, bang. It's quite intuitive, folks. I don't have to do this tutorial, but you can see how easy it is. Okay, go back to the main screen. Likewise, we have our record. It stamps where the alarms have been triggered. So you get the time and the levels, okay? Let's go back. 
What else do we have here, folks? You can do your gas zero calibration and your span calibration. Please check our calibration page for that tutorial, okay? We have a separate video on the calibration part. Then you have your set time and a hard reset. Okay, folks, now let's get back to the main screen. So we have the gas being detected, combustibles, explosive, this standard unit is calibrated to methane, folks, methane, okay? If you're going to uh, want to get the percent LEL on another combustible, you have to put your conversion factors and you have to calculate that, okay? Now, let's, as you could hear, the pump is working, so it's drawing air through the pump, through inside the filter and onto the analyzer. Now, you press the left button, you could turn the pump off. You could turn it on. You could turn it off. Now, mute. When the alarms are triggered, you will get the buzzer and LEDs. You may want to mute that. Turn that on. Okay, so these are just some quick quick switches right over here. Okay, folks, and curves. It's doing the real-time curvature of whatever it's detecting. See down below, it's zero, 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 state zero, unless I am detecting something. Okay, as a quick demo, what I got here is a bottle of isopropanol, folks, and we're just going to demonstrate how fast this is detecting um, the vapors coming from the isopropanol, okay? It gives you guys a fair and reasonable understanding of how that all works. So just keep your eyes on the, on the, um, on the screen there. See, it's just, I put the probe at the top of the bottle here, and as you could see, it's detecting the EX um, and it's, you know, obviously giving you the percent LEL. Now, if I want to get that figure for isopropanol, I have to get my correcting factor. That, for example, if it's 1.5, then I have to go 14 times 1.5. And that will be 14 plus 7, which will be 21. That is the correcting factor. That's the way it goes, folks. Okay, so I've taken it off, and as you could see, it's recovering back to zero. That's the way it works. Now, you may not want the probe. You just unplug it. Not a problem at all. Okay, and you may just want to take some measurements without the probe. You could assume this is in a confined space or something like that. Okay, um, it doesn't have to be um held it could be clipped onto your belt or onto your man as a safety measure folks and that's the way typically it works so very versatile unit it's our analyzer very very accurate unit indeed look i hope you like the unboxing and quick demo be well be safe and see you soon